Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video for the City of Final Fantasy Alpha Omnia, in which I'm going to be taking on Liud's um, debut event, Lufenia, uh, Wings Graven with Emotion, uh, the Luffy Plus for it, and yeah, I'm going to be going in with a team this time of Noctis, Liud, and Machina. So I am going to be trying to take advantage of the synergy between Noctis and Machina, in terms of the fact that, you know, uh, Noctis can sort of set up the warp step with his LD skill, which uh, essentially nullifies the action delay on Machina's HP pluses um, and I've got Lude in um, to deal with the orb condition which requires you to basically use self damage so if I hadn't pulled for Lude here I would be using uh, Vivi or Dark Knight Cecil um, probably not Jack. I might be using Queen because her EX allows you to do it as well, uh, but essentially I'm going to be relying on Lude's um, LD attack in order to do this. So I'd, I've, I've played around a little bit with Lude and he's very, very interesting and I wanted to pick him up as a kind of like future proofing, right? Because we're now into the level 90 era and along with the uh, crystal strength 90 like the crystal level 90 that we get and that includes the ex extensions which makes the ex button worth clicking um for basically everyone who gets a rework with it and as we go into the future we're going to be getting more and more powerful ex attacks and lude's whole thing is that he can insta charge um, consistently insta charge allies ex gauges um, like if I had chosen to deck out Noel, I would absolutely be using Lude and Noel together because they're kind of ridiculous. Um, because you know Noel can use his uh, his Braver attack to like break an enemy and get a free turn, and then he either gets a free skill or he gets an instant charge on his EX gauge. And then you could use use uh, Lude's EX, which then instant charges his EX gauge again. So basically, Noel just becomes like an EX spamming monster. Um, and as long as you've got lots of HP damage up, then Noel's EX hits pretty freaking hard. Not quite as hard as Machina can. Um, but very hard nonetheless and I have started to notice actually Machina's damage is starting to drop off because we've got bravery gain reduction coming into play here uh, which is why I've got Iraha over here as a call ability because she's gonna allow us to retain uh, you know that little bit more bravery um, to allow us to consist, you know, deal consistently high damage, um, despite the fact that we're going to deal a lot less of it as the quest goes on. And I brought Jack along because even though Lou's auras are ridiculous and we've got E3, uh, the enemy is still pretty tanky. Now Noctis can punch through that. I don't know. I think his potencies are a lot higher as a result of being level 90 and possibly having the ultimate weapon. Uh, but Machina's potencies absolutely are not, unfortunately, and he is going to need a little bit of help uh, to deal worthwhile damage. So of course, there's like 101 ways. To skin a cat um, if I really wanted to I could do like the whole uh, fucking machina selfie and uh, like Fran thing and then bring in someone else you know like d d bring in fucking Dark Knight Cecil and use like a launch comp uh, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to bust out this team I'm, I'm having fun using Noctis again so let me just unfollow the Fran here so that I uh, only get three turns of her I don't need five turns of Fran I only need her in to, to put the debuff down and without further ado let's let's dive into it let's see how we go here so Lude is like kind of interesting. In oh, I've got the Star Wars credits enabled because um, I've set up on a new uh, a new emulator. So I do apologize for that. You're just going to have to uh, put it out of your mind, um, despite the fact that I've literally just drawn attention to it. Uh, but you know, you, ca you can't have it all. Um, so then, let's see what we have here. Um, I might as well put on my jack. And then I am going to put on Stunning Slash. There go. So these bosses don't actually proc their Luffy Orb until they get down to 80% uh, health, which is actually really helpful. Uh, so I'm just going to pop the additional ability on here. Um, and I'm actually going to sub out now for, uh, for Fran. And we're going to LD it up. Just to get those debuffs on there. That's what I like to see. Um, Alright. So, Noctis, Noctis, Noctis. Uh, what are you going to do, my friend? You are going to... Firstly, use your additional ability. And then I think I will set up with a an LD here. You love to see it. 
So Lude's EX is um, already charged. I don't think these bosses have any kind of cleansing mechanism, so I can just go ahead and put everything on right at the start. No reason not to. Good shit. Uh, I know I'm wasting a turn of warp step here. But the additional abilities at Crystal Strength uh, 90 like are well worth using. Like The level 90 uh, additional abilities, I won't call them game changers, but they're much, much, much more powerful than like any of the other ones because they increase your bravery damage limit, sometimes your HP damage limit, Like it's, it's, it's really worth it. So I'm just going to click on Fanfare here, and this is going to instantly charge Nox EX, which is amazing. Uh, and honestly, with Fran, I kind of just need her to get out of here now. This is why I only wanted a three-turn one. And now with Noct, I can set up with the burst. Okay, uh, so if I do this, yeah, I kind of want to do it on B, even though it's going to like it's going to bring the orb up if I do it there, and I also don't want to. Uh, like I'm probably just going to set up for um for a Machin uh, a a Machina burst phase here. That's probably going to be what I'm going to do. So let me just. This this may have been a mistake to uh, pop the Iraha this early, but I mean we'll we'll find out, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about that, because <laughs> Iraha is uh, so goated we get to retain uh, a lot of extra bravery afterwards. And here comes the orb. Um, Lude has the, um, the Kurosami enchant on active, so I'm gonna just go ahead and... Do I want to use Crimson Wake? No, no, I absolutely want to use LD. All right, well then, burst it is. It's uh, it's a good old good old Mac in a burst phase. Nothing we haven't already seen before. Just without all of the constant launches. You know what, I've got to give Makina his dues, he is absolutely dealing all of the fucking damage right now. I didn't think he would still be hitting this hard. Definitely underestimated the guy. Um, I think like when I tried this before I didn't quite have this many debuffs on, it definitely makes a difference. Although you can see that um, you can see that when they drop below 50% they, they suddenly do start taking much 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 less damage. Like I'm only dealing 8,000 a hit. Because Nox still hits like a fucking truck for some reason. 
ここだ決めるぞみんな力を貸してくれもらった負けられないんだAll the free turns. All right, I kind of, kind of need to use this, even though my EX gauge is like already filled. Um, I don't want to risk the orb going off, so I'm just going to use this. Alright, good shit. Let's uh let's play some turn warping with Noctis here. And into the summon it is. Okay, and then we'll just pop the EX, and then if he's not dead after that, then Machina will absolutely kill him. And still the enemies haven't really got enough HP to uh, withstand the full force of all of the damage we can put out. Like, I've not really got to use the whole Machina and Noctis thing together because the numbers are just too big. That's pretty much the beginning and the end of it here. Didn't even really get to capitalize on what Lude can do either because, um, or Ludo, uh, because like, didn't really get to capitalize on his EX charges because I had to keep all the warp steps up and yeah. Anyway, um, this guy definitely much more of a future investment, um, and I do have plans to use him with Strago when the old man comes along because I think Strago's EX is absolutely bonkers. Um, and I am going to have some fun using those two together. Uh, but he is definitely capable of solo supporting. He, his auras are very, very, very powerful. Um, and I, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, so his artifacts are a bit of a mess at the moment. Ideally, you want 108 and CS50s uh, because he batteries based on his own health, which is why I've given him Freya's Sphere as well, uh, which is kind of interesting. He, he batteries basically uh, depending on the HP that he consumes. Um, anyway, that is going to be my run through Liud's uh, character event. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. So until then, take care, and goodbye.